Multiverse Cosmic Conquest, uh, back to Octagon. Uh, today is uh, uh, April 9th, 2017, we're uh, playtesting. We had a bit of a break today, and I will take my deck that I built, my orange and yellow buildings deck, and see if it's any good. Test it out. Uh, can I put this card face down? What if I do it like this and then do Control K? Well, it doesn't doesn't matter. It can be face up, just as well. And I can take uh, the cards from my opponent's deck. Take control of the deck. Oh, why not? Pass control to group seven. There you go. This is the easiest way to create a galaxy for the game. There we are. So we're playing against a green forest deck. Forest planet deck. Alright, so I built this um, orange and yellow buildings deck. Um, and the goal of it is... Um, basically to add as much resource as possible and make the buildings cost less and less with bu uh, builders which are workers and which are orange let's load it and there's a late game card which is the alpha space station which is the biggest building in the game costs 10 and is the only building that can move it's sort of like a huge ship that attacks by itself. Actually, it doesn't. It needs uh, units inside of it. But uh, that's the um, winning condition of this deck. Although there are other big ships as well that can do the, the deed. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's a good uh, build. I haven't tested this game at all. Um, I will roll a 20-sided die. And I uh, guess you go first, right? Okay. Uh, so a mono green deck. Mono green usually means that uh, it's not going to attack us, which is good for us, since we've got buildings and they usually cannot defend them th 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 themselves. Okay, so we have a stone quarry, which uh, adds orange resource. It's a building. We have Galleon, which is one of the uh, secondary win conditions of the of this deck. We have a Mart Construction Manager, which is good if we already have other builders. A Hooknauer Flagship, oh, which is another sort of win condition. And uh, another, sorry, a builder here. Uh, we have two units, two ships, and a building. I think we're we're set. Oh, it looks like Group 7 has mulliganed. I keep as well. So since I go second, I I draw an extra card. Yes. First mulligan is, is free. And the reason behind this is because uh, it's only five cards. And uh, it's pretty easy to get all units or all buildings in the first five cards. So the first uh, mulligan is free. And most decks need uh, both units and, and ships to function. So I guess it's fair that all decks get a free mulligan. And once you don't get uh, the right mix of cards the second time, that usually means that you did a less than optimal job with your deck building, so you need to be punished for it. Okay, so it's our turn. Let's add some resource. We uh, can see that uh, our opponent hasn't played anything on their first turn. And I don't think we will either. Although, we could play a Mart Builder so that uh, our stone quarry will cost less next turn. I think that's the way to go. Although, wait a second. Saving one resource now, I think it's better than saving one later or not. I'm not sure. 
if we wait a turn and play the stone quarry next turn, then the turn after that we'll have three resource. So that's on turn three we'll get three resource or four. Uh, turn four. If we play the builder now, we still won't be able to play the stone quarry next turn. I think w I, it's still better to wait. Wait a second. Just so you know, your stream isn't up as you want it to start now. Strange. It looks like I'm streaming. Let me check really quickly. Um, it is up actually. Maybe it's not up uh, for you, but it, that's good that it's not uh, up for uh, our opponent, so he cannot ghost us. Let's get rid of it. Um, I'll just type it's it works for me. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's working for me. Anyway, uh, I'll wait a turn. I think that's the right move. I'll calculate um, what's the best move in this situation again later. Wait a second, let me fix this camera. There you go. Back to group seven. Actually, I think this is a pretty good matchup for us since uh, we won't be doing much. We'll be um, gathering a lot of resource in the early game, although green also does that, so we'll see which one of us does it better. Okay, so we have a play from our opponent, Populate. Look at the top five cards in your arsenal. Put all unit cards you find this way onto this space. Put the rest back into your arsenal and shuffle it. So. He found a grain farmer, which is actually pretty good. Cost uh, three resource to play populate, and he got himself a, a unit that costs three resource, which is uh, average. Perfect. Um, populate, I guess, could be exploited with um, some of the blue cards that let you put stuff on top of your arsenal. Uh, and maybe huge units, but not too much. It's exploitable, but I don't think it's worth it. At least not with the cards that we have in the first um, uh, set. Sometimes this card is a big waste, but sometimes you get five units. That's that's true, yes. Okay, it's back to our turn. We'll add resource. Draw a card. Oh, actually, if we had a builder, I guess... It would have been better to play it. Oh, we can still play it and play a small shelter. No, I still I still think that I need a quarry first. Okay, wait a second. Uh, if we play the builder, we still have two resources. We play this shelter for free. Next turn we have three, four, five. And the stone quarry costs six, so I can still play something that costs two now. I don't think I have anything. Um, so I guess I might just play the stone quarry. It's hard to think fast uh, with these types of cards. That's a good start, though. It's a, a really slow start because in the first three turns. Like in the first two turns, you only play this one building. Uh, I, but I think, generally speaking, it pays off. Unless you're playing against a really offensive, not offensive, aggressive red deck or, or violet deck, then uh, I think this pays off in the end. But since we're playing against a green, I don't have too much of a problem with playing slowly. Okay, so we have a Darren Exploration Ship, and at the beginning of your turn, you get to explore one space in range one. And it landed on a fourth planet, which is perfect for our opponent. That's a bit un uh, unfortunate. Okay, so now we'll be adding three resource every turn. Two orange and one yellow. 
Let's draw a card. Now we can play Mart Construction Manager and a small shelter. Might as well. It's going to be better long term, so let's pay three. Pay zero, play the small shelter, put the construction manager in the small shelter. I should probably rename small shelter into something different. Um, so now we'll be getting four resources every turn, and our buildings cost one less. So it's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, ships are not buildings, so they don't actually get to cost less. Still, it's like we have two. Uh, planets under our, our control. So we're on pace, on resource with our opponent. Um, I'll just write rename small shelter. Some of the names are still not final, so Okay, so I just questioned what happened right now. Um, he explored this desert planet at the beginning of his turn and then moved his exploration ship onto an asteroid field. That's unfortunate. I think that's uh, from our galaxy deck. Yeah. Well, the exploration ship can handle a few of these asteroids. He played another grain farmer and uh, another populate. Could be useful. We'll see. Mine is just forests. Oh, he's talking about his um, galaxy deck. Yeah, then it's probably mine. Definitely, actually. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. That's really bad. Three. Three units. Scout. Geocore Senator, and a Diplomat. Yeah, the Geocore Senator is overpowered. The Diplomat, what does it do? Objects cannot attack unless their controller pays one for each attack from any space. Uh, okay, it's a pretty good defensive thing here. I think I'll be able to pay for it. Darren Scout can explore two spaces in the galaxy. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, our opponent is really dumping a lot of units into play. Exploring a lot of uh, stuff as well. Uh, now, if he... Oh, he only has one green resource. Um, I think we're safe. Yeah, it's the end of his turn and he's adding one green to all of his planets. Yeah, that, that Geocore Senator is uh, is overpowered. It should do this only once, I think. Because it's always also powerful. It has three power and three four health. Anyway, back to me. Right, so I'll be adding four resource here. One colorless. Two orange and one yellow. Draw a card. It's another small shelter. Single tier at the news. Uh, okay. Let's see what I can play. Um, I can play this shelter for free. I cannot play any galleons or anything else. I think I might as well... Um, I think I should wait probably. Maybe I can... Wait, if I play a builder and a shelter Next turn I get a one more resource, so I will pay two and get one in return. 
plus the 4, so I'll get 5. Uh, 5 plus the 2 that I have is 7. I'll be able to play a Galleon. Or actually even a Hooknar flagship and start wrecking. Might as well. Let's go for it. Play a Builder for 2 orange and actually no one orange and one colorless play another small shelter put this inside of it and uh, I have uh, what do I have I have one orange and one yellow right yeah can't play a purchase assets uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have seven next turn. I don't, I'm, okay. Next turn I'll be able to play this pretty big ship. Wait, this pretty big ship. Which has boarding, range. When it attacks a structure in range one, move that structure onto this space and deal an extra two damage to it. Also, by the way, by this point I think this ship would have been dealt a couple of damage. Right? The asteroid field deals damage at the end of each turn, so uh, it has two damage by now. That is a good point. I forgot about the field rats. What field? Oh, the asteroid field. Yeah. Um, some peop some players forget that it deals damage after at the end of each turn. So not only at the end of your turn, but your opponent's as well. And if you're playing with like five players, this asteroid field gets really powerful. Unless, of course, you have a ship with shields, then it doesn't do anything. Okay, so even though our opponent has uh, three planets, right? One forest, no, two. Two planets under his control. Maybe three, I don't know. Well, now he has three. We have this machine that builds, that gives us one, two, three, four, five resource every turn, and all of our structures cost two less. So even if we found the Alpha Space Station that cost 10, we, I, I think we would be able to play it, right? 10? Oh, actually, no, it will cost 3 less. Yes, we would be able to play it. I'm not paying much attention to what's going on. Yes. Thanks for um, turning these cards 90 degrees. I like that um, Group 7 turns the explored um, spaces under nobody's control uh, 90 degrees. I think I'll do this myself in the future. He played Sol Solar Sail Brig. Oh, that's a good card for exploring the galaxy. Thankfully, this the flagship here has range 2, so we can start moving um, away quickly. Okay, so yes, uh, our opponent now controls one, two, three, four, five, six spaces and has two ships, one of one of which can move twice. Uh, so we're getting dangerously close to losing. Right, all this resource, <laughs> I can't um, quite 
keep track of it all. Okay, so we get three of this, two of this, and two more colorless. Another stone quarry. <laughs> Don't think I need it. But it costs two, right? Or, or one. Okay, so Mark Construction Manager says that buildings you play on this space cost one less for each unit you control in this space. So one, two less. And one more or less. So this actually costs one. So for six resource, play this. For one I play this. Might as well. And then I I take this smart builder, put it inside of the Hooknar flagship. There's so much stuff in here. Ugh. Okay, this is a small shelter without anything. The stone quarry doesn't have anything. This uh, stone quarry doesn't have anything. This shelter has the construction manager. The builder is inside here. And the flagship, I can move it there. Explore this space. It's a green thing and I attack your exploration ship. Oh, I don't think that's the best thing I could. <laughs> I, think I, I think I made a small mistake, but I'll attack. There you go. I should have attacked this solar sail brig because it uh, gets you closer to winning faster. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get to seven, eight. But um, I think I have this stabilized, even though I made this mistake. So yeah, actually, making these buildings and uh, builders paid off in the end. So it's a slow start, but if you have uh, big ships to close the deal, then um, I think this actually is the best ship in the game, honestly. Oh no, there's some more expensive yellow ships. I don't, know, don't think that they are in this deck though. Strange. Anyway. What was I talking about? Both of our decks are designed uh, to play the long game, although the green deck is more focused on uh, having a lot of different uh, bases, while I'm focused on playing stuff on my home planet, which now is really hard to conquer, especially since I will be getting two yellow, two orange, and one uh, colorless resource every turn here. Wait, my diplomat says no player can attack without paying your... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. Um, okay, then. Sorry. Okay, well, I, I, let's pretend I paid.
That's not as good, but it's still fine. Still, though, I should have attacked the solar sail brig. This is a pretty intense game, actually. I like this strategy. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting to be as effective as it is. Um, I think a few of these cards are overpowered. Probably Mark Construction Manager is uh, overpowered. Question mark. Maybe not. Uh, maybe if if enough cards are overpowered, everything becomes balanced. So, okay. Oh no! That's that's a good win. I love that card. Planetary Alliance. Gain control of all planets under no player's control. It's perfect for this green deck. Um, because you're exploring, 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 and then you win the game with that card. That's perfect. And I, I think I would still have lost if I destroyed the Solar Sail Brig, right? Um, I think so. He would have explored one instead of two. So we would have one less, uh, uh, what's it called? Space. Oh wait, only planets. Wait a second, okay, depends on what's this. It would be a planet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait, six, no. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten? Not sure. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. Anyway, it would be really close. I think he, w he would have still won. We'll check uh, once this becomes a video. I think I'll, I'll definitely post this on YouTube. I like this game. Because, yes, because the other ship would have explored a space at the beginning of my turn. Oh, that's true, yes. There you go, then. Uh, I was almost there, though. I maybe was a bit late with the flagship. Could have saved the day. Uh, but, um, yeah, I've, I've... It was my mistake. Anyway, uh, thanks for playing. And uh, I think that would wrap it up for today. We played a bit, actually a while, before uh, we started recording this part of the playtest session. I built another deck, which is a robot deck, but we've played against robots before. And uh, the only difference with this deck is that it um, uses a lot of the drones, so it um, focuses on attacking with actual units and moving the units around. That could be a bit fun, a uh, bit more uh, unusual than your regular robot deck. But other than that, it's it's pretty standard. I wanted to try this out and it it works as a strategy, which is great. I love it. Uh, there's still a few strategies that I haven't tried out, but um, um, most of them are really fun, I think. Anyway, uh, I think next uh, week we'll uh, try and, and do a, a free-for-all, maybe a, a three-player game, uh, three-player battle royale or four-player battle royale, depends on how many testers we have. That should be fun. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Keep it up. I think so. I think I'll stop streaming then.